we're back with another rate my chase before we get into the chase let's have a change segment brought to you by head radio and connor and jay as you know version 24 has come out and the addition of vehicle armor and armored tires should positively impact the series and make chases longer and we all like long chases of course what comes with change comes happy and rage. You can't please everybody, and there will always be people who will react negatively to the new version. As the chorus of this song says, nothing stays, they'll pass you by if you don't change, if you don't change. So, it's important to adapt to the new settings. For some of you fags, this may be your first update. So take it as you will and adapt. As we've said earlier, it'll be a bit tougher for solo cops, and surfer cops are dead. Which means the winners of this version will be the passenger seat cops and the cop teams. Oh well to that. Anyway, in this chase we have Snorkel. He'll be the first one in the version 24 era to star in a Eight My Chase. Let's get to the chase. Alright, time for Chase. First chase of version 24. We have Snorkel in a cheetah here going eastbound with two cops here, Nimpo and Bibe26 in a freeway. Nimpo gets in front of Bibe, knocks him off the freeway and his health just melts away and Nimpo blamed me for the rest of the game week for this, even though I didn't do anything. Too bad I don't have logs. This would have been funnier with logs as we go into Easter Bay Airport. This chase does not have any sound in it, so I had to inject some songs into it. GG, what a newbie this Rashawn is. Uh, not checking OBS. Anyway, Snarkle getting punched by PH Lirazan, but the Snorkel takes some shots back at him. Lirazan goes into the water, but Nimpo eats him up with the Ranger, but Snorkel in a great position, and Nimpo, really bad, awful cop work right there, using his shotgun, but he gets owned instantly, instant death, ha 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 as DSP would laugh here. Here's Vu Genlun in an HPV, trying to fight Snorkel here. He's been in a lot of HPVs lately here. Here's Vuginlan. He gets out of the HPV and he's gonna go into the Nevada. No, on top of the Nevada, and he takes some shots, but the wings in the way, but he gets some shots in on Snorkel. Snorkel now gets out of the cheetah and he's gonna try to snipe at Vuginlan, who's still around the Nevada, running around like a hyena. Though, nice cameramanship by Rashan because we can't see Vuginlan. <laughs> oh no! What a noob cameraman. Anyway, Snorkel taking some more sniper bullets into Vu Ginlan. And we don't know where Vu Ginlan is. There's a bike in the distance, but we don't know whose is that. As we go southbound near the Easter Bay Airport runway. Here is Snorkel. He's going to go back into the Easter Basin docks as Peach Lirazan is back. He's in the water there. Snorkel is gonna come out of the cheetah and he has some unfinished business with PH Lirazan in the water shooting at him with the sniper in the water and he takes down PH Lirazan dead is dead he smacked the internet cafe keyboard as he got owned here's Big Daddy, Big Daddy Nabil here he must be Nabil Udin's brother here but he didn't come in prepared his infernus is already at low health it's on fire Big Daddy Nabil goes over jumps out of the infernus near the journey He's gonna round the journey here. Armor gone, health gone, that is dead. Snorkel destroys Big Danny the Beetle in two seconds. Is now max volume and Gamer9 join the chase. I guess call this a uh, tribute for max volume. As there's a rustler in the distance. I wonder who that thug is. Who is that thug? Later on in the chase, now near the PD, is Gamer9 and the max volume continue the chase. Here is Chuppy in a premiere. Snorkel's gonna give the red light here. And now the chase is continuing as Chuppy goes for a lag pit. He's gonna try again, but Snorkel knocks him into the hill and into the zoomer. He is out of this chase. 
Yellow Rose and an uh, Admiral nice embedded lag pit by him, but Snorkel with the huge drive-by to take down Yellow Rose's health to below 450. Yellow Rose wakes up, and now he knows what kind of chase this is as we go westbound in Kings going southbound. And that is Snorkel's point of view, by the way, as we go southbound in Doherty. Gamer9 still not shooting at Snorkel for some reason. He said, wait a minute. Now, Snorkel takes some shots into max volume. He did, wasn't ready for that one as the comet goes on fire. Gamer9 comes out of it, but max volume uses the Instafix. That'll delay their chase back here. Because now we have a fire truck cop, Tadix Genesis. He's not going to do very much. He tries to put some water on Snorkel, but that obviously is not going to work. These stupid idiot fire truck cops always try to use water as a weapon. <laughs> oh no, what a noob! Everything comes out of his rustler looking to take shots or get on top of the car, but he can't. And that deep bullet is not going to hit. As we go into the construction site and Doherty Yellow Rose is back with a cheetah he picked up off of the street. Here's Snorkel. Has some space now as he goes northbound in Northern Garcia towards Kings. Another fire truck cop, Emmanuel Frost. Yellow Rose going right at Snorkel's tail here as there's a makeshift roadblock in the road here by PH Ganster. And now a three-man cop tank and an FBI rancher going northbound. Yellow Rose keeps on going northbound. Oh, and everything knocks Yellow Rose halfway into the ground. Storkel takes some shots at the FBI rancher. It's gonna go on fire soon. Dead, dead. And Eric Cartman forever gets taken down. Useless passenger seat cops right there. A combined zero arrests. As everything gets on top of the car, got a good hit as Snorkel crashes into a tree. Everything trying many, many ways to kill Snorkel here. He will stomp on the car, 10 damage each, with those big feet of his. And now we're gonna go into the Palisades here. Snorkel has to find a way to get everything off of the car here. Everything goes in front of the car, takes some shots, but misses. Snorkel flips the car and successfully gets everything off. The car goes on fire. Snorkel will get the Instafix, but he gets taken down. Headshot! By everything. And Snorkel is in jail with 54k mail. Grip in peace. Now it's time to rate that chase. Been a while since we had an actual chase analysis, huh? Gonna give that chase a B plus, pretty nice chase brought on by Snorkel. I had gone into Los Venturas before this to try to get some chases, got a few good ones, but this was the best one of the day. B, uh, B plus for that one. Gonna go with the cops in order here. Limpo, the guy who blamed me for his rank deduction, he gets a D minus. Snorkel just absolutely owned and destroyed him. Uh, Vu Genlin will get a D plus. Nice maneuver to get above the Nevada, but he's been HPV fag lately, and that's not very effective. Big Daddy Nabil coming in with the Infernus. He was completely unprepared coming in with half Infernus health. He gets a D minus very, very close to the F line for him there. Max volume and Gamer9. Gamer9 took zero shots at. Snorkel. Uh, he did tell me that he would bribe me two million dollars to get an A+, but I couldn't cheat to get him an A+, now. <laughs> oh no, what a noob! Go back to your HPV, you faggot! So Max Volume and Gamer9 will get a C-. Tribute, written piece to Max Volume. He got banned about 35 minutes after this chase. Written piece. Uh, everything gets an A. He is a... Uh, he is very carefree, doesn't give a snit, he'll jump on your car. Risk is not a thing to this guy. And he ends up getting taken down an A for everything. Yellow Rose will get a C minus. Could have bettered his grade, but everything lodged him into the ground before our eyes. And there was nothing he could do. As DSP would say, What can I do? There's nothing I can do. Finally, Eric Carbon Forever, Randy and Joel 
will get a D minus. Randy and Joel, terrible, awful passenger seat cops. So in the next couple chases, we will go to Las Venturas, the worst city in the world. But going on the change theme, I'm gonna try to li lift my personal ban of Las Venturas so that we can get some more great chases in LB. Like we said before, nothing stays, they pass you by if you don't change, if you don't change. Nice chase.